He is known for his contributions to the field of music, particularly as a composer and professor of composition at the Royal Academy of Music in London. He is recognized for his influential role in the Society of British Composers and for mentoring notable British composers such as Granville Bantock and Arnold Bax. His name is Frederick Corder. In the world of music, there are those whose names echo through the ages. Frederick Corder is one such legendary figure. Born in Hackney, London, Corder's passion for music was ignited at a young age. His journey began with piano lessons and later expanded to include studies in harmony with Claude Coudry. But it was at the Royal Academy of Music where Corder truly honed his skills under the guidance of renowned composers such as George Alexander Macfarren, William Cusins, and William Watson. With his talent recognized, Corder was awarded the prestigious Mendelssohn Scholarship in 1875, granting him the opportunity to study abroad for four years. He spent three years at the Cologne Conservatory, delving into composition under Ferdinand Hiller and piano with Isidore Cisse. In his final year, Corder found himself in Milan, where he had the privilege of meeting the likes of Arrigo Boito and Giuseppe Verdi. Returning to England in 1879, Corder took on the role of conductor at the Brighton Aquarium. His reputation continued to grow, and in 1884, he briefly stepped in as the musical director for the Doily Cart Opera Company. During this time, Corder's operatic works were performed by the touring company of Alice Barth, solidifying his presence in the music scene. Corder's influence extended beyond his own compositions. He became a professor of composition at the Royal Academy of Music, where he also served as the Academy's curator. Among his many students were notable British composers, including Granville Bantock, Arnold Bax, and Eric Coates. Corder's dedication to fostering musical talent led him to co-found the Society of British Composers in 1905 and serve as its first chairman. Throughout his career, Corder drew inspiration from great composers such as Richard Wagner and Franz Liszt. In fact, he and his wife collaborated on the first accepted English translations of Wagner's works. Corder's own compositions encompassed a range of genres, from songs to operas and cantatas. Notably, his Prospero Overture remains a testament to his musical prowess and can still be enjoyed today. Beyond his musical accomplishments, Corder's personal life was marked by love and family. He married Henrietta Walford, and together they had a daughter named Dorothea Charlotte and a son named Paul Walford Corder. Corder's sister, Rosa Corder, even had the honor of painting the portrait of the renowned poet Dante Gabriel Rossetti. Frederick Corder's legacy lives on through his students, his compositions, and his contributions to the musical community. His dedication to teaching and his own artistic achievements have left an indelible mark on the field of music. The story of this legendary composer serves as a reminder of the profound impact one individual can have on the world of music. Frederick Corder, a composer with a passion for progressive music, found himself in a world of musical opposites at the Royal College of Music. His counterpart, Charles Villiers Stanford, represented the conservative Brahms faction, while Corder embraced the more forward-thinking influences of Liszt and Wagner. This clash of musical ideologies shaped the legacy of these two composers in English academia. Corder's impact was felt through his pupils, who were deeply influenced by the clever primitivism and latent giganticism found in Wagner's masterpiece, The Ring. However, Corder's compositions lacked the eroticism of Tristan, a key element that set him apart from his contemporaries. In contrast, Stanford's legacy was solidified by his notable pupils, including renowned composers like Vaughan Williams, John Ireland, Gustav Holst, and Frank Bridge. Despite being overshadowed by the success of his counterpart, Corder's major contribution to the world of music was his influence on Arnold Bax, a talented composer in his own right. While Stanford may have garnered more recognition, Corder's impact on Bax's development cannot be understated. In the end, the legacy of these two composers is a testament to the diverse musical landscape of their time. Stanford's conservative approach resonated with a generation of composers, while Corder's progressive ideals left a lasting impression on those who sought a more avant-garde artistic expression. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.